Hi, this is Chris Furbishay, and I'm going to review how to use a um, online version of a uh, calculator that's actually emulated. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a ROM file, and then we're going to upload it to an online um, emulator to run the file. And it makes it so that if you're if you don't want to run out and buy a hundred dollar a calculator then you can um, you can run an emulator which will emulate the calculator and it's um, it's free and that's why we do this because um, you have to pay for books and sometimes people don't want to run out and buy a calculator I prefer holding a real one but for some people they don't mind um, using the online version and it's, and it's cheaper okay we'll get started the first thing that you need to do is you need to um, download the um, the ROM file and we're going to do already have the website up. Oh, it opened up in the wrong window, which is fine. And so when we when we download this ROM file, what we want to do is we want to um, download it somewhere where we know uh, where we can find it. Sometimes people will hit download and then they can't figure out where it went. And then the other thing is there's times where not as much with the ROM file, but Sometimes the um, if people download certain other files, your things change all the time. But antivirus sometimes can key into certain things. I haven't heard about it, like I said, as much with the ROM file. But one of the other emulators that we use is an EXE, and um, recently I've been having more and more problems with it, which is why this online one uh, may be the way to go. So there's different versions. I don't recommend. Um, some of these older versions, they're, they're emulators of older calculators. So I recommend staying within the TI-83 to start off with. Once you figure out you can make it work with the 83, maybe go up to the 84. These take a little bit more memory, and so sometimes um, the emulators don't like to run them. So I'm going to download, or I think I already have it downloaded, but I'll, I'll show you. Save link as... In this case, okay, I already have it downloaded right here. But here, I can save it again. Okay, so we downloaded our ROM. The next thing is we want to go to um, the web page. I'm going to pull it over here. Okay, so this is the web page. It's the, and the address that we're looking at is right here. If you search for online TI-83 emulator, You'll find this. It's Semtech, and um, the actual, I believe, the project of the the actual calculator is called Justified or something like that. And so, um, yeah, that's how you find it. So here it is, right here. If you go to the home page, this won't pop up. So you want to, um, if you go there, it won't pop up. So you want to look for the the emulator. Okay. So this is our calculator right here. This is, um, it's actually pulling in one of the um, older images of the uh, TA-83, I think that I've already loaded before, or this is the default. And so sometimes it'll kind of store store some of the memory. So, this, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our file right here. And it's our emulator files. I've already been downloading some things. I'm gonna pick our Pick either one. This is the one that I just downloaded. So sometimes it does this. It says there's not enough memory. Um, is this calculator at the home? So um, if I go, I can I can do a couple things. I can load new ROM, or this will like reset it. This will pause it. I'm gonna pause it. Rerun it. Well, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm going to reset it completely. I'm going to try it again. Okay. So that fully loaded it right there. So this is the silver edition. And so that's um, kind of what it did. But it says unable to load the file. Um, at times this thing will, will um, have some memory issues. I'm going to go download a different um, ROM. And we'll just take a look at it. Let's download a really basic one. Let's see, that's Silver Edition. Let's do the 83 Plus, which I think may be 
little bit less taxing. Yeah, so 83 plus, and now we're gonna go back and we're going to, um, it does the, so this little disk thing, it's load new ROM. And so this time we're gonna do the TA83 SE. Okay, well, it didn't really change anything. Oh, SE, let me change this one. Um, I want that TA83 plus. Um, completely reload it. Okay, so it went back to kind of a, a less taxing thing, but it still said unable to load the specified file. Are you sure it's a TA83 plus program application? Um, yeah, it is. Watch, we'll, we're going to go and we're going to hit enter or clear and we can do our um, math with it. And so that works great. So with these online emulators, there's a couple things here. You want to make sure that you um, load, click this when you want to load the new ROM, which kind of clears everything out. You have, um, you can reset it right here, and it'll just kind of reset the memory. You can pause it, which um, I think it kind of pauses the state of the memory, and then you turn it back on. So you have to play around with it a little bit. And look out for this other video that I'm going to do, and um, you'll see one that I believe is even a little bit simpler. Thanks.